All right, here with Auburn Head Basketball, Coach Terry Millarns. His team wins it by a count of 61 to 49 over Washington Lee to win their second state championship in three years. But, Coach, how neat is this journey to get it done here? Because two years ago was one of the most awkward feelings ever. I remember calling the games at the state championship here. The governor declares a state of emergency. You guys are en route, and you're told you can't play. This time you win it, and you get to breathe that sigh of relief. You're going to go celebrate. Yeah, I mean, it was. we were actually in the gym watching the game and had to tell the guys up in the corridor. And that was the worst thing we've ever done. Uh, I've had to tell kids. I mean, that was terrible. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it was one of those things, you know, we felt confident that we were going to uh, play well in the game and had a good chance of winning. And that led down and not having it, so you, you just – didn't have that validation that we wanted. So, you know, especially Ethan and them, they had a goal the following year. Mm -hmm. Kind of got messed up, um, weren't allowed to play but seven games. And then this year, to have the full season, to be able to go out there and do what we wanted to do, I mean, it was just an incredible feeling for these guys to finally get it done and, you know, to have that championship and be able to take it from here and take it back and really celebrate. It's like a more normal, traditional championship. You guys see Ethan set records, points, assists, threes, all those things. Tonight, his shot's not falling, but how about the eight rebounds, eight assists, no turnovers, just the way he played the floor game and didn't force things and made his teammates better? You know... Ethan, just like everybody else, you have good shooting nights, you have bad shooting nights. You know, it's just you don't see that that often from Ethan. He rarely has games like that. But he gets a lot of focus, a lot of attention. And he's, you know, there's a reason he's broke the school record for assists. Because he's a very unselfish player. He's not going to force it if it's not there. He'll find it with man. And he's going to do everything he can do to impact it. I mean, he had a mission to come out here and play that game and win that championship and prove you know, he's the best player in the state. Yeah, and to not turn over this pressure is very impressive for yes. sure. How about uh, Little Bro, though? He ended up with 18 points Nick tonight, 7 of 8 from the foul line. He's going to have a pretty good career. He might chase some of those records, right? He is. I mean, it, it is tougher. I mean, uh, like I said, the team, especially going forward, will be really well balanced. And, you know, some of the things Ethan did, you know, he had to really carry us at times. But Nick is, I mean, He's just an incredible defensive player. I mean, he plays with a high motor. He's very athletic. Um, you know, he has to guard the best player every night. And, you know, you look at what he's done. He did a good job on number two tonight. Um, you look at what he did in the last game against the Region D player from Twin Springs. I mean, he's just he got that bulldog mentality. And I think he comes from, you know, the little brother. You're always having to guard Ethan. He's a, you know, when you go against the best player in practice, I think, in the state, that's going to make you a really good defensive player. Going in, they've got two all region guys. You probably know about number two, number five, Vaughn Harris, yes. Brendan Washington. Was kind of the focus that we're going to get theirs, but let's not let the others or make the others have to beat us, basically. Yep. Those two can't do it by themselves. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to take those two and really make things tough for them, make them shoot long, contested shots, and keep them off the boards. I mean, that was our two goals with them, you know, and then we can help off a little bit here and there, but still be in a position where we can close the gaps down so they can't drive. Yeah. I mean, we knew they wanted to drive and get shots at the goal, and we wanted to really knock out and then. We could help, but still recover and not let, give up those layups. Yeah, this is not an easy journey. As you know, in your region, you have Fort Chiswell. Perry McClure was the defending champ with the big guy in Spencer yep. Hamilton. In the state, you beat Eastside, who's a state contender every year. Yep. Twin Springs has 2,000-point scores in Lane and Owens. But you mentioned in the postgame press, which was interesting, December we were under 500 early. We wouldn't have won this game. What was it that triggered it? Was it the defense? Was it just you guys grew and that, that challenging schedule made you better? Or? It was just, I mean, again, we were inexperienced. And we did play a tough schedule to prepare for this. I mean, we purposely played tough teams. We don't. Yeah, the grant, the record, and all that stuff isn't a big a deal. Too, right and we played. Yeah, we played in Orlando yeah. in a tournament down there. We played a Northside tournament. So we played tough teams. So we weren't losing to cupcakes. We were losing to really, really good teams. But we had to teach these guys how to compete at that level because we knew if we got into regions and states and our district so tough, if they weren't ready and got a crash course on it, we were going to get eliminated early but our de it was our defense I mean same as the year the other year we came here we had to learn how to play defense at this level and we finally started understanding their roles what they were supposed to do and yeah you know, like I said it just got better and better every and day. final one I appreciate your time I know it's a short notice here that you'll probably have a better answer from me on this you know days weeks months from now but how are you gonna remember this season as far as the state championship you say goodbye to Ethan you got another son that's gonna have come back and uh Certainly you guys will try to go make another run, but this was a special year. 
it was a special year. Like I said, for me as a, a father, like I said, it, it, it's tough. Like all these games, it's pressure pack because one, I don't want to lose. And then two, it's, it's my son playing maybe his last game when this is his last practice or all that. So at least when we knew coming in here, this is your last practice. This is your last game. Let's go get it. And it's just, I mean, it's an incredible feeling to be able to do this with both of my sons on the team and both of them just uh, being such a key piece to this. I mean, as a father, it's just a, a great experience. And like I said, it was something we'll look back on for the rest of our lives and we'll always have it. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Go enjoy it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.